Hey everybody, how you doing? Dr. Jason Petrangero here. We are doing another in our series of Facebook Live videos today. And uh, as we promised, I have a breast implant here in my hand and uh, we're gonna cut this thing in half. Um, I put a post up a week or two ago kind of talking about the different types of breast implants and the safety of those implants and what really is inside one of these silicone gel implants. So a quick review, uh, what I'm holding here is a Mentor breast implant. That's the brand, that's the brand that I typically use. And it is a silicone gel implant. As you can see, it's got silicone in it. And as we talked about, they're very sturdy, okay? So inside this is the silicone gel. That's called a highly cohesive gel, all right? Similar to kind of what you hear about these gummy bear implants. Now, gummy bear implants, if you really talk about what is the difference between a highly cohesive gel and a gummy bear implant, that's gonna be something more of like an anatomic shape. So the gummy bear implant is a true kind of almost a hard silicone. Uh, the difference between that and one of these round smooth implants that we put in, the gel is highly cohesive. So in a sense, it really is kind of like a gummy bear implant to begin with in the first place, because if you do cut this thing in half, it's not gonna run all over the table like it was filled with maple syrup or water, okay? So again, if you cut this in half, this highly cohesive gel implant, which is what we use in probably 98 to 99% of the women that we do breast implants or breast implants with lifts on, that's gonna be what you see on the inside. So again, you can see they're very st stable and sturdy, all right? And I got my gloves on, I've got my trauma shears here, and so Amy's gonna kinda bring in the uh, um, camera real close, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this thing in half, all right? So already without uh, no fur without further ado, let's do the uh, the cutting. And here we are. As you can see, the implant, the silicone does not run all over the table like if it were maple syrup, okay? As you can see, the implant, the silicone sticks together. Likes to stick to the uh, to the shears as well a little bit, but as you can see, we have cut into that implant and it holds its shape for the most part, all right? That's a highly cohesive gel. When we hold it upside down, it doesn't run all over the table like it were water or maple syrup. So if this implant were to rupture inside of the body, the silicone gel essentially will stay where it's at, okay? The key is having this protective shell around the implant to hold everything in place. But again, if it were to rupture, there's not a liquidy, watery residue like the older generation of implants uh, that would potentially get out into the breast tissue to cause it to have uh, a reaction or any kind of pain. So again, you can see where my cut was made. It peels apart again nicely. And again, it doesn't run all over the table like it were some sort of a wet liquid. All right, so again, thanks for watching today. Make sure you keep checking us out on Facebook. Uh, make sure you leave us with some nice questions and comments in the uh, box below and keep following and watching for our new videos. And again, have an awesome day and uh, visit us at our Facebook page and our website, petrangaroplasticsurgery.com. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you on the next video.